hello my lovely viewer you're welcome again to my channel in this video i'm going to demonstrate how to connect solar panels in series and then we'll also look at why you would have to connect your panels in series so if you turn the back of the solar panel you see these two cables connected so one is supposed to be negative and then one is supposed to be positive and so before doing any connection at all you have to know which of these cables is positive and which one is negative normally the cable that comes with the male socket is the positive cable and the one that comes with the female socket is the negative cable if you want to be very sure you can also look at the point of connection to the panel there should be an indication whether the particular cable is positive or negative if you're able to identify the positive and the negative cables connecting the panels in series is very very simple all right, so for instance, these are two panels, one and then two. If we are connecting these two panels in series, we'll have to get a positive cable from this panel and then connect it to the negative cable on this panel. So it goes like this. This is positive from panel one. This is negative from panel two. So we connect positive from panel one to negative from panel two, like this. So positive here to negative here. In case you have to connect more panels, the same way we did the first one, the live cable on this panel will connect to the negative on the other panel until you get to the last one. So after the connection, you have one negative output here and then one positive output here. So at the end of our series connection, we have one negative cable from the first panel and then one positive cable from the last panel. So in actual fact, we could connect a lot more panels in series. And then at the end of the connection, we have one negative and then one positive output to either the charge controller or the inverter. All right, so now, why at all do we have to connect the panels in series? Series connection will help us to double up the voltage that is produced from the panels. So for instance, if one of these panels has an output of 33 volts, when we connect two in series, we are going to have 36 volts. Now, why would we want to double up the voltage? One situation where you would have to connect your panels in series is where you need a certain amount of input voltage to your controller or your inverter from the solar panel. Okay, so if one of these solar panels is rated 33 volts, but we have a controller which has a minimum input voltage of 48 volts, then it means we have to connect at least two of these panels in series to be able to supply the required input voltage to our controller. All right, so this is a practical example of what I'm talking about. So here, this is a DC controller for a DC motor. So if you look here, this controller will require a minimum of 48 volts to work correctly. So anything between 48 and then 100 volts should be able to work perfectly with this controller. All right. And so if the panels we have can only give us 33 volts, then we have to connect at least two in series to be able to give us a good voltage that can work with this controller. And so the only reason why we would have to connect solar panels in series is to add up the voltage to meet the input requirement of the controller or the inverter. All right, so in another video, I will also demonstrate how to connect solar panels in parallel and when we would need to connect solar panels in power. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you like this video, kindly hit on the like button, share with others, and subscribe to stay connected.